This screencast is going to teach you how to use estimation to estimate sums and differences of fractions using benchmarks. So remember that our benchmarks are used as a tool to kind of round or place fractions on a number line. It's kind of to help us reason through um, fractions without having to do all of the work of adding or subtracting fractions. So let's go ahead and review some key vocabulary, the first word being benchmark. So a benchmark is just an estimation of a fraction um, using different numbers such as zero, one half, one whole, and so on. Then you have your two vocabulary words dealing with estimation of overestimate and underestimate. So an est overestimate just means that you are rounding up or you are rounding the number to a bigger number than what it's actually worth. Underestimate means that you are rounding down so that the value of the fraction or number is less than what the number is actually equal to. And then finally, our sum and difference. So remember that the word sum is an answer to an addition problem and the word difference is an answer to a subtraction problem. So using our benchmarks, we're going to take a look at these two fractions first. I know that they're fractions because the numerator is smaller than the denominator, so they have to be less than 1. In this case, I have 5 eighths as my first fraction. So I'm going to take a look at 5 eighths, and I'm going to think, is 5 eighths closer to 0, 1 half, or 1 whole? If I'm thinking about 5 eighths, half of 8 is actually 4. So that tells me that 5 eighths is probably closer to 1 half than 1 whole. 7 eighths, 6 eighths, you could argue might be closer to a whole, but I would definitely say that 5 eighths is closer to 1 half. Then looking at 1 tenth, doing the same thing, closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. 1 out of 10, very tiny, tiny number. Change it into a decimal, very tiny, so it would be closer to 0. It's okay for you to underestimate, to round down. Remember, you're just using this kind of as a, an estimation tool. So you're just estimating the sum or difference. We also can estimate um, and use benchmarks with our mixed numbers. So in this case, we'll see that we have 1 and 2 fifths. So when we have a mixed number, we actually kind of break this apart. So we would keep our 1 separate, and then we estimate the fraction. So 2 fifths, 2 out of 5 is pretty close to half of 5, which would be 2.5. So we'd say 2 fifths is close to 1 half. Notice how I wrote the 1 over here already. So I'm going to add the whole number 1 plus my benchmark of 1 half, and my estimation for 1 and 2 fifths would be 1 and 1 half. I'm going to do the same thing for 1 and 8 ninths. I'm going to pull my 1 over a while, and then I'm going to look at 8 ninths and think about is 8 ninths closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. 8 out of 9 would definitely be closer to a whole or to 1, so I would add 1 plus 1 and get an estimate of 2. Now it's your turn, so what you're going to do is you're going to answer these questions. You're going to look at 1 tenth, 7 eighths, 1 and 2 sevenths, and 1 and 3 sixths, and estimate using your benchmarks what each of those would estimate to. So you should see that 1 tenth, which we actually did on the previous slide, would estimate to 0. 7 eighths would estimate to 1. 1 and 2 sevenths, 2 out of 7. I would probably round down to zero. You could argue that it would be close to one half, so it would either be one, or you could argue your one and a half. And then one and three six is actually equal to one and a half because we should all know that three six is equivalent to the fraction one half. So looking at the idea of estimating sums, remember sum is the answer to an addition problem. So we're just gonna break each fraction down or estimate each fraction first and then add them together. So 1 eighth would be closer to 0, 3 sevenths would be closer to a half, and then we add them together. So our total estimate or our sum, estimated sum, would be 1 half. Once again, just using the idea of benchmarks to help you estimate your answer. We can do the same thing with a mixed number. So we bring our 2 down plus 1 eighth would estimate to 0, and that would be an answer of 2. Then we look at our 1 and 3 sevenths. 1 would stay as 1, 3 sevenths would be a half. We add those together, and we would get 1 and a half. So when we estimate our sum in this answer or in this problem, we would get 3 and 1 half as our estimated sum. 
Same thing with estimating differences, except for the fact that you are now subtracting. So please, please, please make sure that you are paying attention to that subtraction sign. So 6 sevenths would estimate it's closer to 1 whole. 1 fifth is closer to 0. When we subtract 1 minus 0, we get an estimation or an estimated difference of 1 whole. Once again, you can use the idea of subtracting or estimating a difference with mixed numbers and fractions. We would keep the 2 estimate 1 7th using our benchmarks, so is it closer to 0, 1 half, or 1? 1 7th one will be closer to 0, so we're still adding these together because it's the same number, so this will become 2, but then I have my subtraction sign in the middle. 9 tenths would estimate to 1, so we have 2 minus 1, which would give us an estimated difference of 1. So let's have you try these two problems. So go ahead and pause the video, or it might pause for you, and answer these two questions and then check your answers. So you should see that 1 and 7 tenths estimates to the whole number 2 because you have 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 fifths would be closer to a half. So we should get 1 and a half as our estimated difference because we're subtracting here. Then we have 2 and 1 fifth which would estimate to 2 because 2 plus this would probably become a 0 would be 2. 6 sevenths is close to 1, so we would do 2 plus 1 gives us an estimated sum, because we're adding, of 3.